Yesterday, we got a bit of Joker sequel drama, basically surrounding on whether or not Warner Brothers, at this point, is actually actively developing one. Because, regardless of what anybody says, or what any of the trades say, I wouldn't be surprised if we do eventually get a Joker 2, because the first one is doing so well now. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Warner Brothers wants to follow that up. But anyways, early yesterday morning, the Hollywood Reporter reported that Right after Joker's opening weekend, and they saw how big that opening weekend number was, Todd Phillips went into WB's office and offices and pitched, you know, a Joker 2 and doing more, you know, villain movies or laying out the groundwork. And there was another villain origin movie he was going to do on top of Joker 2 or something like that. And then later on that day, Deadline said, nope, that's false. There was no meeting on October 7th or that weekend. And, you know, there is no Joker sequel actively in, in development at this time, nor, you know, any other villain origin movies by Todd Phillips or anyone there, basically, or at least not by Todd Phillips. Now, whether or not that's true, I don't know. I mean, it could be that Warner Brothers doesn't want any information about a Joker sequel, you know, being in development out yet, because they just want people to focus right now on Joker 1 and its Oscar campaign and, you know, not cloud the issue or muddle the message, right? Let's just focus, you know, on the movie being successful, the first one, you know, it being nominated for all these awards, getting, you know, Joaquin Phoenix's Best Actor nomination and win, hopefully, and, you know, the other ones, you know, cinematographer, director, film, alt makeup, you know, all the stuff they want to get. It's like one thing at a time, and then we'll make that Joker 2 sequel announcement or start doing it after we're done with that. I think that could be the likely scenario. Maybe they really ha aren't, you know, developing a joke or two right now, but I'm pretty sure discussions at this point have been made. How far along those discussions are, who knows, but I'm pretty sure somebody at Warner Brothers and Todd Phillips, they've been talking to each other about it in Joaquin Phoenix. Now, those discussions could be like, no, I don't want to do a sequel. Maybe Joaquin Phoenix is like, no, or Todd Phillips is like, forget it. But if they were, if they have said, yes, we're going to do one, Warner Brothers doesn't want anybody to be talking about that now. Not yet. So, you know, who knows? Both The Hollywood Reporter and Deadline are very reputable trades, like the top of the top. Like, they're the, they're the websites and the magazines, the print magazines that people trust the most. Or, you know, they're in that category, right? So for one to say something and for the other one to say, nope, that's false. The other one was telling you falsehoods. That is a pretty big deal. Like, are they going to start fighting? But it doesn't matter. I mean, they're both going to still survive probably as long as big Hollywood trades survive. Whether or not they're friends with each other, I don't think that's going to matter to any of us, you know, on the outside, you know, reading this stuff. Um, whether or not the people whose stuff, the content you consume like each other, do you as a reader care? <laughs> probably not. But it is interesting, you know, it's rare that something like this happens, that one of the major trades basically refutes the other one's claims. Um... But I do think that there's a good chance we will see a joke or two. But, you know, the question is, when will Warner Brothers want to drop that news? Probably not right now. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, Todd Phillips did, we did hear news a long time ago, I think earlier this year, that Todd Phillips did pitch a DC Black, you know, slate. You know, a whole dark universe, for lack of a better phrase, of, you know, doing darker or more prestige um, DC movies about villain. Mostly, I think people we assume that the villains would be best for that, but you know they could do you know more prestige, darker movies or serious movies about heroes too. I made a video, you know, about seven DC characters who'd be good fits for you know more prestige, serious, you know, kinds of DC black stories. Um, so you know, I do not think after this level of success, we have heard the end of Joker two talk. Or of any more, you know, serious prestige type of DC movies, right? They want to keep this money going. <laughs> they want to keep buying yachts and nice houses. Um, so, I wouldn't believe people who are saying Joker 2 is not happening definitively. Because I'm not so sure about that. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.